stay with truck alerts tv by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to make sure you get all our races interviews and exclusive content and don't forget to like comment and share versus 2019 and austin is the only man ever to do it outdoors what what what's the significance for you i mean in addition to the huge 20 points for the team bigger prs uh if i remember correctly i went 820 and i think it was 229 228 outdoors so to come, come indoors go 230 and then i think it was 8 845 good prs and i look forward to doing better outdoors well done sir thank you uh quick question for you javon uh so hot off the press, uh, this is the best long jump slash high jump combo ever in world history in a, in a single day. How does that uh, make you feel? It makes me feel great. Uh, I just look, I just want to push the marks out further. You mean, I mean, I beat somebody and now everybody's going to be gunning for me who does high jump and long jump. So I just need to push the marks out further to show them that I really am the greatest. When you say you want to push the marks out, Javon, how, where do you think you can get? What are you aiming for? I don't have any specific marks in mind, but definitely want to get over 28 and definitely get over seven, eight. I want to get over seven, eight and get about 28 in the long jump, seven, eight in the high jump. Javon, did it evoke a, a different kind of emotion? I mean, obviously, you know how good Kerry, Jamari, you know, Isaac, I mean, you know how good those guys are. Did did it evoke some kind of different emotion for you to have to dig down in the second half of that long jump competition and, and come from behind? Because obviously, that's not a position that you've been in a lot this year. Yeah, it, it brought a little something out of me because I'm very competitive. And to be down early, it was, it was really bothering me because I was so far behind. And I finally was able to get my, my stuff together, get my, my run together. And once I got on the board and was able to get everything together, the, the mark spoke for itself. And what about the competition in general? It's only the third time in NCAA history that four guys have been in beyond eight meters. I mean, I, I, you know, Isaac Grimes jumped 835 and didn't win. I mean, obviously, that's, you know, that's, that doesn't happen very often unless you're going against Miguel Pate or Eric Walder in the, in the past. So, I mean, what does it mean just to to see that depth and you know and have three of the four guys in your conference. I love it and I live for it. I love competition is is what pushes me to keep going further. So I love having good competition. It's only going to make me jump further and better. And how uh, how good did you feel about the, uh, the efficiency and and I mean obviously you only had one miss in the high jump uh, before you retired. I mean that that had to be I mean obviously Vernon and Ernie and those guys kept pushing you you know, made you clear those bars, but to, again, like you've shown, told me before, first attempt every time, except for once, how, how efficient did you feel that that competition was for you? Uh, technically speaking, it wasn't my best competition. I did a lot of things wrong early on, but I was able to get myself over the bar. Uh, near the last two, three jumps, I was, I finally put everything together and was able to get higher bars. And I think that's what really etched out the win. And it really did hurt to have that miss on the record because you never know what can happen, but I was able to get over that last bar and win it all. Technically, which one is harder for you, uh, long jump or high jump? Uh, it, it really just depends on the day. It really does just depend on the day. And what about going just so quickly between from the high jump to the long jump with no uh, no real cool down, no chance to regroup very much? How did that affect you? Uh, it affects me a little bit because it, it affects me a little bit, but it doesn't affect me as much as you would think. I did it a lot freshman, sophomore, and junior year, like especially at SECs, they like to do that. So I'm kind of used to having to do both on the same day. At SECs before, I've had to go back and forth between long jump and high jump. So just being able to have at least 20, 30 minutes to cool down is a big, big help. What's the difference? Um, when, if it's a good high jump day or a good long jump day, what is I mean, what does that feel like? How, when do you know if that's gonna be the case? Is it your how your body feels? Is it the schedule? What, where it's the? A little, it's a little bit how my body's feel. It's a little bit about how my body feels, and it's a little bit uh, technically speaking, like 
when I get out on the runway or I get on the high jump uh, area and I do my run throughs, it, it, my body will let me know based on whether I'm getting on the board, whether I'm initiating my curve right. It's just little technical things that let me know if I'm going to have a good day or a bad day. Any other questions for Javon? All right. Thanks a lot. And congratulations on double gold. Hey, Javon, make sure you go get a picture at the scoreboard as well. I got you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Well Thanks, done, sir. Javon. Heat two. Class two boys, 200. They're off now. Full field. So on the outside in lane eight, daily from Herbert Marson in lane and he will run away with this one daily DeAndre daily off Herbert Marson 2192 the flash time makes it look easy DeAndre daily 2191 Brooks 2314 and Kelly, 23, 64. 